How's it going? Chris Keefer here. Welcome to the YouTube channel. And today we're at Glen Helen. We're going to talk to you guys about how to connect to your Yamaha Power Tuner app. Um, so easy for you guys at home. This is a beginner tutorial. So if you guys already know, this is nothing new for you guys. But I get a lot of emails. Hey, how do I change my values? How do I connect? So this is a basic tutorial on how to do that. So basically, um, like Jamie said, he's behind the camera. If you are at home and you're on your Wi-Fi network at home, disconnect from your Wi-Fi network. That way you have a clean connection. You want to hit your button one time. Your blue light will blink like that. And then what you want to search for, you'll look down here on your CCU and there'll be a serial number right here. You want that is what you need to connect to. But first you got to find this. It's already connecting. It'll search for it, boom. And then your password will be your serial number on your CCU. So once you've done all that, you're connected. Now we're in, right? So now we'll go into our Yamaha Power Tuner app. There are three preloaded maps already on the app, which is quite nice. You'll punch this thing up right here. I already have 2025 YZ450. And we have some maps already created. So smooth, linear, hard hitting, linear torque those are already pre-programmed in to the app so you can play around with those so if we go on to that you can see that the fuel injection and the ignition side and if you guys want to change some of those values you simply can just click on the grid just like so and then you can highlight these things which it isn't doing hold on one sec Let's create a map. So if we want to create a map, boom, put the map name in here. Let's say Kiefer, GH, you name it. You go in there, then it gives you a slide bar, which can make it really easy for you guys, right? So if you want to change something, you can just slide this around and it doesn't. But if you guys don't want to do that, and you guys are looking to change stuff on your own, simply click on that icon right here. And then there's your fuel injection and ignition. When you get your bike, all zeros is a stock map, just so you guys know that. Um, sometimes if you guys are sitting here too long, just hit that start button every now and again to ensure that you're connected. And then you can go into, you have a value and position. So right now you can change your values, obviously richer, leaner, however you guys want to. Yamaha doesn't give you a wide enough parameter to screw up your bike. It can run a little dirty or lean, but it's not going to blow up your machine. So you don't have to freak out about that. So you can go up, highlight, up, down. And then once you're done, you got to push this thing once again. And then you got to go to your next grid, right? Now, if you think, oh, I'm going to go plus two all the way across, you can simply just highlight those and then it does that on its own. So that is easy to do. Now let's say, okay, you got that grid done. What is position? See that little TH percentage right there? You can go to your position and then you can change your position. But what I've noticed, you must start changing this from down here to up there. Sometimes you guys will hit me up and say, hey, I'm trying to change the top button and it will not change. So you must try to do this from down here. And then once you're done, start working your way up. I'll have Jamie talk a little bit more about this and what it does, but for me, um, it just helps they give you 20 40 60 80 that's a generic throttle position that they'll try to do for the ignition side now i'm going to flip this camera around and give it to jamie and he's going to teach you what if you do change your throttle position what it does okay so i'm going to actually start off with something a little bit different here so we're going to go back to the pre-save maps right so we're going to go to hard hitting for those of you that want to learn Obviously you can't edit the hard hitting map, but if you look to that and you do some track testing, you it'll guide you into knowing what you like, what your motorcycle likes, how you like to ride it. So that's one of the ways that you can actually kind of do some learning on your own with the predetermined maps that come from Yamaha. So if you do that, you'll kind of have to either screenshot it or remember, and then go back into the key for GH and try to mimic or do whatever you like from that map. Right. So that's a good feature that they've kind of given you the education to look towards what it will do. And then whenever you you figure out how you're riding that'll be the other thing uh, and then going into the position a lot of times we change that like at 80 percent throttle on a yz450 you're not really there that much not many right? people are at 80 percent on. i'm not there that much at all i wish i was there more than i am but that's just where we're at right but with that being said you know you could go down here and change this down to zero change this down 
to 10, change this down to, let's say we don't even care about wide open because let's be honest, the Yamaha works really good there. So with that being said, you can move those in position wise. And then also too, like 2000 RPM is lower than idle. Yeah. Right. So that's kind of a wasted cell, right? So if we go over here and we want it to idle or we want it to be just off idle, we can change that cell and then so forth. So understanding the positions kind of affect what you can get to like yamaha's done a pretty good job i think revolutionary on the release of their gytr power tuner app um, so if you look to those you can you know achieve and get a lot of the same feelings you want uh, whenever you run out of parameters in here and you still want more that's when we start introducing like the vortex ecu and stuff like that so, so also too just so you guys know we'll put this right here when you go to your power tune app and you have the map you want you'll want to send the map right and it'll say okay to send, you'll push okay, and it'll give you a send to map one or map two. Just so you guys know, right here, map one is light off, map two is light on. Okay, so let's go ahead and teach him how to know that that's happening, okay? Yeah. So the, this button is going towards the bike if you're sending, and then that button is to pull backwards to whatever may be in the ECU, okay? So let's just send it to map one for argument's sake. Probably. Now we gotta reconnect okay, it. Yeah. So that's that's actually good that we did that. So then you gotta go back in your settings. And if you're at home, it will auto connect to your Wi-Fi at the house. You will run into this nonstop. So then now you just go back, reconnect, you should be okay now. So let's go ahead and send that to map one. Waiting. Okay succeed to send all right so now if we go back to the i want to say it's maintenance or the now i'm fumbling this where is the actual um here we go so i go back sorry. yeah no so, so see this gear wheel over here that's going to get you to the screen now if you want to start the bike go ahead and start the bike chris If you can't remember, you can just go to your gauges screen and you can go and figure out which one's connected to which one you're sending. And just so for people to know, a good idle to set yours at is what? I like them around 2200, but that's a, a setting that if some people stall a lot, they'll go up to 24, 2500. So that's really a flavor, it's a preference. Yeah, so don't be afraid to play with this thing. It's really easy to do. Actually, out of all the maps that are that are available right now. Um, Kawasaki has one, Yamaha, KTM has one on the factory editions. This is the easiest for me to use. It's uh, easy to navigate. Um, it actually, you can feel the difference when you put a, a new map in. Um, I can't really say that a lot on the Kawasaki, but the KTM one's pretty easy to use. The slide bar is nice, but. Yeah, but this one is a little bit more detailed because you can actually change the individual cells. Yeah. Like with the Triumph, you know, you can select one of those predetermines, but you can't do any of your own editing. So like I said, revolutionary, I think they brought it into the sport first. So more or less, I think the Yamaha is probably one of the better ones if you're gonna access one to tune. If you guys have more questions, you can hit me up, chris at keferinktesting.com. And I know what you're gonna ask me, should I get a Vortex or does the Yamaha power tuner have enough parameters for me not uh, purchasing a Vortex? I'm even gonna answer that right now because that's another 20 minutes. It's another video. flavor. <laughs> yeah, it's another it's flavor. It's another flavor. Uh, yeah, hit me up, you have any questions, I'll help you out and uh, we'll put some of this up um, in an article over on keyforinktesting.com. We'll see you on the next go around. Yeah. How's it going? Jamie, how are you? Sure.